guys, it's me again, Kiana, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title of this video, we are going to be doing my least favorite reads of 2020. I only have five reads, which is really surprising. I read about 70 books this year as of right now on the 23rd. So for me to only have five that I didn't like, I think that's really good. This is in no particular order. I'm going to say what book it is, I'm going to give my rating, and then I'm going to explain why I didn't like it. So let's go ahead and just get started with this video. The first book I really didn't like is Love Creekwood by Becky Albertalli. This is a short story um, of emails going back and forth between Simon, Jackass, Leah, Abby, and Nick. And it's just going back and forth of all of them with them in college and everything. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. I really did enjoy seeing all the characters again. But what I didn't like and what made me mark it as a not favorite was how in these emails going back and forth, she made Simon very, very dependable on Blue. She made him that he basically couldn't go on without Blue, that he needed to be with Blue 24-7, being away from him with a me oh, with it for like a week or more. He didn't make him want to like do anything and that really annoyed the crap out of me because in Simon vs. the Homeo Sapiens Agenda, Simon did everything by himself. Like, yeah, he had his group of friends, but having a boyfriend really didn't define him. And so that, like, bothered me because I just, I wish you would have kept the Simon we met in Simon vs. the Homeo Sapiens Agenda the same as we saw him in Love's Creek. Well, like, that was the really thing that bothered me the most. But yeah, that was a three out of five stars, and eh, I'm kind of done with that universe now. So the second book is A Question of Homes by Brittany Cavallero. This is the fourth and final book in the Charlotte Holmes series. I ended up giving all four books to my little sister and she's going to read them. Yeah, do you want to eat? And the reason that I didn't like this book as much as the other books is I feel like the ending was rushed. I didn't like how rushed it felt, how, in all honesty, it just dragged on like the third book could have been the end of the book like they were done they solved everything I feel like in the fourth book they were just trying all these ends to try to make it feel like it and like oh they're going off to college let's give them a one last case to really solve before they done but the case that they were solving had nothing to do with Charlotte or Jamie so I just felt that she could have ended it with book three and it would have been a perfect trilogy but her making it into a quartet made the series lesser than what it really was in my opinion huh? book three that was my most disappointing read is rat queens volume four i mean rat queens volume seven i ended up giving this a two out of five stars and i dnf'd it about 15 pages into the way again this is another series that should have stopped after like volume four or five when it was all wrapped up Again, it felt that they were dragging it on when they could have just ended it where, like, at the volume I said they should have ended it. I just, The Brat Queens was one of the first, like, really graphic novels I was getting into along with Saga. Saga, like, took over. I got into that more. And then when I came back to Ra Rat Queens, I loved volumes one through five. Six, I felt, was dragged. And then seven, I just couldn't get into it. I ended up DNFing it, like, 70 pages in. And I was just like, I'm done with this series, which was very disappointing because of how much I loved the beginning. Again, she could have, the authors could have ended it, like, at the end of volume five, and it would have been fine. But they decided to drag it out, and it made the series, like, less enjoyable. The fourth book is The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby, and I forgot her last name. I gave this again a 3 out of 5 stars. It was really enjoyable. It was my first like adult contemporary book that I read. And then this we follow a girl named Nina Hill. She never knew where her father was growing up. Her mother was this famous photographer that would travel all around the world. And then when she is 30, someone finds her in her local bookshop that she works at and basically tells her, your father is dead and he has left you in his will. You have three older brothers, you have three older siblings, one younger sibling, and you have a bunch of nieces and nephews and cousins who do not know that you exist up until now. And it throws her life into a loop. I think the reason I rated this so low was that they were trying to force a romance in there that didn't need to really be in there. It, I feel like the book should have just been more on Nina and her finding out holy shit, I have a father, I have a whole different other family. A romance wasn't nearly necessary in my opinion, but the author was trying way too hard to have a 
relationship in it and I just don't think that she needed to have a relationship like whatsoever and then lastly the fifth and final book is Giant State volume 14 I absolutely love the Giant State series it is an absolute favorite I started it in the beginning of quarantine and I'm ending it now and volume 14 again they could have ended it like 13 but 14 was a little bit dragged out it was them in their later years them fighting because some of them can't see the other people and it was just it was petty it wasn't as enjoyable as the other volumes but i still did enjoy it it just it isn't my favorite out of all of them but those are my top five most disappointing reads of 2020 it wasn't that much but to me again having five that i really didn't enjoy and me sitting here talking about it does make me kind of upset i'll be leaving here on the side of me two videos on instagram you guys should go check out i try my hardest to post two to three times a week and hopefully i'll see you guys very very soon with another video bye guys